Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Health Plus Culture. I'm Rosanna, I'm the Executive Director of the Arts Development Company, and I'd like to thank you all for being here today and making the commitment to take a day out of your busy schedules to explore and consider the future of creative health. It is incredibly energising, even at this time in the morning, to stand here amongst so many incredible, knowledgeable, experienced and dedicated culture and health professionals. Today will be a day full of engaging and thought-provoking conversations, inspiring talks, and we hope the start of new collaborations and ways of working together across the health and culture industries in Dorset and beyond. We all know the inherent benefits that culture brings to health, um, thankfully, there's been a multitude of research, case studies and experiential evidence to prove this. But today is about how we can together make creative health thrive and how colleagues in the creative sector and colleagues in the health sector can collaborate, make the most of our resources and learn which other, which, what each other needs to have an exponential impact on people's lives. The day will be split into four sessions. The first focuses on understanding the system. The second focuses on how creative health can thrive. Then after lunch, the conversation will turn to what's working well in Dorset and what challenges we face. And in our last session, we will discuss what conditions we need for creative health to thrive in Dorset. Thank you in advance to those of you that are speaking today, um, some of whom will join us online. And just to let you know, the speakers who are joining us online will be able to hear and see them, but they won't be able to see or hear us very clearly, just so that you know. And on the point of housekeeping, there's no fire alarms or anything scheduled today. So if there is an alarm, please follow the staff to the nearest exit. And if you need any extra support today, then the Arts Development Company team are wearing these lanyards. Please come and speak with us so we can help you to have an enjoyable day. And now I'd like, you to, like to introduce you to Gemma Aldred, our Arts and Health Lead. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Rosie. Um, and just to echo what you said, to welcome everybody here today. Um, it's really fantastic to see so many people. Um, before I um, sort of set the context a little bit, just want to uh, set the tone for the space and the day. It does feel a little bit formal, because we're all on these seats. Um, but please feel that this is a relaxed space and an open space, and do what you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable across the day. Anyone with a lanyard can help you out, um, and you can obviously all help each other out as well. Um, we've got a quiet space set up, so if you do need to take five minutes or have a lie down, it's just through there. Um, yeah, and I, I hope that we feel that this is a safe space where we can be open and non-judgmental together. <coughs> So as well as being um, the creative health lead or arts and health lead for Arts Development Company, I am also a creative health practitioner. Um, and my first professional arts and health gig was way back in 2007 when I assisted at a drama club um, at a local uh, charity that did a mental health day service. And since then, I've worked in lots of contexts. So I've worked for NHS CMHT, I've worked for a university, a regional theatre, lots of charities, even my own companies. And through that experience, I know firsthand the challenges in bringing sectors, systems and languages together. But I've also seen what happens when we do. We reach more people who have better outcomes and they stay well for longer. And I want us to hold on to that because that is why we're all here today. We, we want to encourage people, we want to support people in living happier and healthier lives. And actually when we do that, we do two things. We help our colleagues in health and social care out because we reduce demand on services and we support the cultural ecology as well more creative opportunities mean more jobs for creatives, more interest in, in going to the theatre or going to museums. And creativity is good for you. It's proven, we know it. Everyone is creative, it is an essential part of being human. But we've decades of experience, in fact, in this country of doing this work and growing and shaping and developing it. Um, and hopefully you've all got some postcards that you collected as you came in. And I'm really delighted that this shows the breadth of work that's already happening in Dorset, from our hospitals to our schools, 
There's so much work already happening from cradle to grave. There's an opportunity for everyone to get involved. And today is thinking more about how we make more of this happen. The assets that we've got that we can build on um, and the opportunities that are available for us all. Art gives us reasons to live, communities to find resilience within, and the motivation to take care of ourselves. Creative health matters. I know that. You know that. Everyone I've spoken to over the last 12 months tells me they get it, they know it, they want it. So our hope is that today really inspires you to think about how we do make it happen, how we grow the right conditions for creative health to thrive here in Dorset.